If you know about the advanced carousel, then this one is going to be looking very familiar to you, the banner element from CrocoBlock. CrocoBlock is a developer making add-ons for Elementor Page Builder. You can go check out their website. Please follow the link below. It's an affiliate link, and that will give me something if you decide to buy it. Just to give you an overview before we look at the banner of everything that you can get, they have grouped these things into categories. So you can see here is a lot going on. And as I'm speaking, they've released a new one today. So there's a lot of stuff coming from CrocoBlock. We're only looking at this collection called Jet Elements. And if you click on it, currently there are 40 plus elements in here and they are growing. And this is the one we will be looking at the banner. So let's hop on over to Elementor and we get that. So you're going to install those plugins and then you will see it gets quite populated here on the left. You can find it here with Jet Elements and grab the banner, drag it in there. Now, you may be tempted to think this is something like an image and you won't be wrong, but the idea is think of a banner like a billboard outside. If you're driving along the road and you see a billboard, you see a huge picture and you see some text over it advertising it. And this is what it is. But there's one thing that you will need to be aware of and I'll show it to you very, very soon. So naturally, you're going to add an image and let's grab an image over here. And then on this image, you are probably at this size. You're going to leave it at full. You're going to give it a title. Uh, rice field, uh, just something like that. I don't know what are we going to call this one. I didn't think about this before the time. And then you can give it a description here. And I'm going to do my random text generator, which is like that. And then even with that, you can give it a link if you want people to click on it. Just curious what will happen. There we go. So now if I hover it, you see the cursor has turned into that little hand. If you add your link over there, it will open in a new window, of course, if you select this one over here. So you've got a image and then the text at this moment for the title is not clear because of the color shading. And then you've got your description over here, which is that random text. Under the settings, you now apply the animation effect. But before we do that, let's just go and give this title a little bit of color so that we can see it. Title Topography, we make it white. And now you can see rice field, it says over there. Let's also change it a little bit. Let's make the size bigger. Um, let's hind. I used this one the other day and I thought very nice. Hind, I like it. Um, yes. So now let's go and play with the settings under content. There's not much you're going to add to it. You're going to drag in your image. And now what you're going to do is play around with the settings because they give you animation effects, um, animation or special effects. Well, I like to call it special effects. And the one that you are currently seeing is Lily. Again, if you go into the advanced carousel widget, you will see this is similar. Uh, well, it's exactly the same. Whereas with the carousel, you get moving carousel images. This one is a static image with this effect applied. So if I choose Sadi or Sadi, then you see it's going to do something different. Now it goes up and it doesn't display the description. If we choose Layla, with Layla, we're going to have the following. What happened to my description? Oh, the color changed over there. So let's just go and make everything white so that we don't need to go and mess around with this the whole time. There we go. Layla. Next one is settings. Layla. Oscar. Oscar, my man. And this one is pretty nice. I do like Oscar. All right. And then Molly. Molly does this. And I'm just showing you because this is the main purpose of this widget is the hover effects. What happens once you hover over it? The only problem that I can foresee with this is on a mobile device because you're not going to be able to hover with your finger over the screen. So this is primarily an application in my opinion, probably, well, I guess, Unless, as long as it's not a clickable link, it may do the effect. But otherwise, it's mostly for a PC in edition, I would say, in my opinion, at this moment. And then last one, Chico. 
Right. So what you need to be aware of, and if you take a look at the examples that comes with the installation of Jet Elements and all the, the plugins that you get with Croco Blocks, anyone who knows that, I'm just going to quickly use this magic button here to show you that if you use the magic button and you go look at what the banner does, go over here to Sections, and then you can go and click on the banners here you will see that it's basically all similar to this two images and let's insert one so that you can see how the people at croco block had been thinking about it that you bring in these images and they display as banners so very nicely done they've got already overlays so you can go and change the overlay and this is how it will display on your site the thing that I want you to be cognizant of is if you decide to make a huge banner in terms of a Euro image. To do that, you would probably go and edit your section, right click, edit section, and then you would go and say full width, and you would also probably put it on stretch section for just pure good measurement. And you would think, okay, it needs to update, it needs to update, it needs to update, why is it not filling this space? You may go around and then play with the image size, but full is already full. If I put it on large, then it goes smaller. So full is going to be your maximum display. If you're on a smaller device, it won't have a problem. Okay, I'm now not in response. There we go. But if you have this mega screen like I do here, then it's not going to display properly. So be aware of that and how you fix it is you will need to load an image with a higher resolution. So if I click on this one, I'm going to show you. Uh, let's start with this one. It's at 128. I'm not going to care about the height, only the width. 128 for most laptop screens. This is more than if sufficient, but you're going to see it's going to do exactly the same. It will not fill it out. You need to go around 419. To zero, 1920, right? Now, if I add this one, you will see it will fill the whole screen. And then, of course, you can already imagine if somebody sits with one mega gigantic 4K screen and then it's not going to be enough, you'll have to go for 4K dimensions and then load that image. And now we're talking huge size. So be aware that the banners have this thing that you need to be aware of and that if you look at how Kroger Block had styled their banners they had stuck to this kind of layout dual columns and you have one banner on one side and another one on the other side so essentially this is a picture background with text overlay and also color overlay that allows you to draw attention with these animation effects nice element not bad at all this is JP here with Websites for Beginners. Please remember to give us your feedback in any event or recommendations. I like to hear from you. It is something that can help us improve here. If you think I speak too fast, which I sometimes do, if you think I speak too slow, and if you would like to see something else that maybe we can focus on, please let us know as well in the comments below or send us a message at the website. This Playlist is a feature for the Jet Elements for CrocoBlock, and you can also check out other playlists in the making.